Hello everybody and welcome to another part of my gameplay and review episode of Super Mario Maker 1 and 2. And of course I'm doing the handheld mode for the Wii U. Now of course, surprisingly enough, there are two ways that you can uh, play with the Wii U stylus wise. You can use the regular stylus, of course and demonstrate there or you can use a stylus like this and that will work too so that's a big benefit because I know for a fact that the switch when I tried it off camera does not work with this type of stylus it can only work if you don't wanna touch it with your finger of course the only stylus that switches can use are these type so as a result that's a slight negative towards Mario Maker 2 because Super Mario Maker can use because the Wii U gamepad use uh, the stylus as you can see so that's a big benefit. So now here we go. I'm going to do a customized. First off, I got to get rid of these. I'm going to use the regular stylus for now. I'll use the other stylus on the Switch. Because it's definitely much better. Now I will say the one thing I do like is that you can move using the D-pad or even the even the analog stick for that matter you can uh, use that to help you out you want to go to a certain spot of the course you can do that with the d-pad and the analog stick which is pretty cool so that's another plus so let's put coins and by the way I've uh, I've uh, been playing I've, I've actually been playing this off camera and surprisingly enough I got more options now which is pretty cool surprisingly enough as you uh, play as you keep on making courses and whatever not you get extra things they become unlockable and stuff which is pretty cool and I found that out off camera by the way because after uh, after I did those videos for the Wii U, I decided to try uh, try making courses off camera just to get a little more of, of experience. So that way I can be a lot better in making these courses. So that's the reason why I've been getting much more things thanks to unlocking them. Alright, so there you go so let's put a let's put it right there we're gonna put a a that's right a piranha plant right there okay so now I'm just about all set let's put Let's put, this is just a demonstration. Anyway, let's put a. Goomba. Right there. And let's give him. <laughs> you can do that and that's pretty cool. That's one big aspect of Super Mario Maker that you, you will probably like is you can make your enemies bigger which is awesome so I think that's about it and uh, what's pretty cool about this is there are different options I can hold the L and R buttons I can do copy mode I can copy like so or I can use the L, button, L and R buttons to multi grab and Oh, 
that's right I'm I'm doing it wrong guys do that and there you go the multi grab and look at that just grab them both look at that folks I can move them around that's what multi grab mode is I'll show you that one more time okay let's do the multi grab mode and boom and let's move them right there and boom there you go so that's how the Wii U gamepad is and it's actually pretty cool and I actually do like this I I do I, I like this a lot I like the convenience of making tracks uh, I shouldn't say tracks <laughs> where because if I was uh, see if I was actually making a track for say like a racing game it would be pretty cool but these are courses so I do apologize for saying tracks but that's okay but I'm just want to let you know that I like how this is for Super Mario Maker the convenience it's awesome to do it this way and of course anytime of course I could probably uh, look at the TV as well but handheld mode on this is awesome no no question about it so there you go and what I might do I might just demonstrate one more thing let's do Bowser let's put him right over here For shits and giggles. Alright, folks. Now that I'm done with Mario Maker, next part will be for Super Mario Maker 2. Stay safe and stay awesome, and happy gaming.